Yeah, new electrical information that I just found out. So, you know what this is, right? It's a GFI. It's a, actually, it's a, it's a tester for not only GFI, but open ground, open neutral, open hot, hot and ground reverse, hot and neutral reverse, <laughs> bad stuff on that. Obviously, that's why it's in red. And correct, you got the two yellow lights at the bottom on this side. So this is a cool thing to have, about 15 bucks. So, testing out, out in my yard, I've got about 300 feet of uh, electrical wiring in the ground that comes up and goes to terminal boxes like this that are in in a box so that water stays away from them you know because we don't want this to happen well that's the second time and it only took 30 years but this is what happened so this had gotten so corroded that's bad that it finally started to arc and flame Fortunately, these things are made out of a plastic that don't burn much. But uh, what happened was three inches of rain two nights ago here in Plano, and half my lights went out. I'm like backtracking through going, what, what is it? And, and this is it. This sensor, this GFI connector, I'm plugging it in everywhere where the lights are burnt out and the, light, and the lights are like saying, no, man, you got... Uh, no electricity, but this thing would uh, say reverse connections. I forgot which one it was. It would say like, you know, like uh, uh, not hot and ground, hot and neutral reverse. I, I knew I didn't have that, but it was showing that barely. Little dim lights, LEDs. I'm like, well, you're getting enough power, but no light will come on. Double test with a couple other light bulbs. Man, it's like dead, but it's not. This thing will show that there's power. And here's why. There was enough power. There was enough power through all this crap right here to give it enough uh, amperage, barely, wattage, voltage, to uh, make this baby say, uh, yeah, you got electricity. When I, I did, barely, but it wouldn't turn on the light. So anyway, long story short, folks, outside stuff, always have it in a, some type of a secure thing. I mean, I did, and this happened, but at least it didn't catch shit on fire. Because, you know how that goes, catch on fire, middle of the night, and then the fire department's knocking on your door and going, hey man, you have a tree in your backyard that's on fire, plus a fence, and the neighbors are pissed. That's it.